Yo, what is up guys? It is Corrupt here back with another video and today we finally got the Ultimate Guide to ACs 2023. Now this came out a year ago. If there is a different video or um, guide that you guys want me to react to, I definitely will. Um, I will be doing this live um, on my Twitch, so say hello to Twitch chat. Um, I don't definitely don't mind doing more streams in the future on Twitch to ATs and I don't mind doing more guides and stuff like that if that's what you guys want just comment down below um, and whatever like whatever one gets the most liked I'll react to this should be going on my YouTube so if you're not seeing this on YouTube you're probably seeing this on Patreon if it gets blocked on YouTube but it shouldn't I don't think I think I've seen other people react to it um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get right into this um, I'm excited for this mainly because of their relationship with Stray Kids and I'm a big old stay here so um, yeah now we have uh, straight, uh, stays, we're in a teenies, so I'm a stay teeny, um, as Faze said here, yep. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Um, I want to learn their members like I did with Stray Kids. It might be a little harder because I don't react to them as much and I don't sp spend all my time on them. With Stray Kids, I spent all my time on them, so it's a lot easier to learn, but we'll see. I feel like I'm getting better as we go. Oh, that intro is funny. I'm going to turn it down a little bit since it's not going to be as much music related. And I'm going to be talking through it here. A quick spoiler then. disclaimer. This guide will include various clips from music videos, live stages, and more. If you don't want them to be spoiled. And obviously, I, I don't mind getting a little bit spoiled because I'm probably going to forget them anyway for when it comes to reacting to this stuff, that stuff. Um, I mostly just want to kind of get like a big old guide, overarching guide. But I don't mind a small little spoiler here and there about the music. I suggest watching them first and then coming back to this guide after. Now, onto the video. Oh, right, Scar, you just missed it. I literally just did that right before you joined. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm locked in. <laughs> I did it on stream. Alright, let's lock in. One thing I am excited for is I'm gonna try to like not really listen to the music as much, just kinda kinda ignore that unless like it's songs that I recognize and just focus on like the content. We are ATs. ATs is an eight member South Korean boy band formed by KQ Entertainment. The oh, group KQ. consists of Hong Jun. The leader. Songwa. Songwa. You know. You know? Yu Zong. Yu Zong. Oh, like you. San. San. Mingi. Mingi. Wu Young. Wu Young. And Jong Ho. Jong Ho. This is how they pronounce their names. Hi, my name is Song Wa. <laughs> Song Wa. Song Jung. And you know. And you know. We are 18. Ba 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 ba. My name is Mingi. Okay. I'm Uyang. I'm Jong Ho. We are ATs. I realize that you are probably very excited to learn new facts about the members. But before that, I would like to tell you some things about ATs as a group. Bro, let's throw it back. ATs debuted on October 24, 2018, with oh. double title tracks Pirate King and Treasure. You Bro, Pirate King and Treasure being their debut track is so tough. Like, I remember telling somebody that they gave me, like, One Piece, like, vibes, and it's really funny, because, like, that literally is kind of, like, their thing, <laughs> which is so dope, because I love One Piece. You'll find that they do that a lot. That ATs often in the reason for this is that ATs often involves fans and the public in choosing. They used to have us vote what was the main title track, but they have but they had two for the albums. Oh, really? 
I see. The reason for this is that a tease often involves fans and the public in choosing which song is going to be their title mm -hmm. track. That's literally By what you just said. The process mm -hmm. of listening to clips and watching previews of both songs, then voting. So though two music videos come out, only one is the true official title track. Their other title tracks include Say My Name, Wonderland, Answer, Fireworks, Gorilla, Ooh, Answer was and good. Halizia. And Gorilla. Alizia was so good too. Is known for their distinct hard-hitting anthem-like songs. Most people don't know that ATs is a group that frequently visits their softer, more sentimental side. Okay. Yeah, Halazia is one of my favorite songs in K-pop. Alright, hold on, hold on. You're doing too much. ATs is current position as Okay. I don't want to get from a very small company. They were the very first trainees to come from KQ. They oh. didn't have much money when they started, which is noticeable when you watch their debut music videos. Treasure and Pirate King, though was shot in more raw coke. Involved using free sets to spend the least amount of money. Oh, free sets? That's actually dope. I love that, actually. I mean, it's just something different about, like, actually being somewhere and, like, doing the music video. It, I, if that makes sense. I mean, it's kind of dope. But they, damn, that's crazy that they were the first trainee groups out of this, uh, this thing. You can even see a tourist in the background of the Treasure official music video. Oh, All that's funny. All of this makes it even more remarkable that ATs is where they are now. ATs have told us that in the beginning, every week, when they would get to a music show, they had to shorten their songs just to get a spot. They would Aww. even skip a week sometimes. At a recent interview with It's Live, Sand said that they really, really didn't have anything and came up from nothing. Damn. The first member to join KQ and the group was Hong Jun. One could say that he literally sacrificed his sweat and tears to get ATs to where they are now. While KQ is a small Oh the goat Hung Jun Alright we gotta lock in on Hung Jun I usually literally like leaders of groups Just cause I, I think it's the more so like I also have like kind of a leader mentality I like to be like in charge and like the one Like taking care of my group or whatever it may be And whatever I'm doing so We'll see All entertainment company that most people have never heard of The talent that comes from it is nowhere near small Mm -mm -mm. ATs's producing team includes Eden and Edenary, a special production team consisting of Eden, Buddy, Lise, Alounder, Pepperoni, HL, and Olive. It also includes Hongjung and Mingi, just like their producer. Okay, so they have like specific producers for their. It also includes Hongjung and Mingi, just. Oh, let me go back. Okay. And all it. No, they <laughs> went by so fast. But, um, yeah, that's a lot of producers. I wonder who, if you see these producers, uh, maybe they'll talk about it later. But, like, so production obviously is very different than, like, the actual artists themselves. Uh, production is a whole separate thing. Um, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They help Dreamcatcher. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I've, I've reacted to some Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher is really good. Um,. So with production, production is literally like, it's like, there's two sides of a coin with music. There's the production and there's like the, the lyrical, like art, artistry side, the actual recording side of it and stuff. Um, so neither of them can do something without the other. Like a producer can create these like beats and sounds and everything and mix and master and all that stuff. But if there's nothing to, you know, be saying or rapped on your beat, then your beat is useless. Um, although, you know, it's even worse when you have lyrics and everything and you have rapping but no beat behind it nobody's gonna listen to that obviously so people will listen to beats just by themselves um so uh, pr having like really good producers is really really important when making music um and having a lot of them to give you like different variations is very good too uh, i think stray kids only has i think they produce their own stuff if i remember uh, maybe they have help with production but 
pretty sure Bon Chan Han and Benny all helped produce all of their music, which is super insane, honestly. I can't remember. Um, but, yeah, the three Racha. Wait, oh, it's, uh, it's, um, wait, it's, it's uh, I'm actually having a stroke right now. It's Bon Chan Han. Is it not Benny? Who am I thinking? Am I tripping? It's, uh, it is Benny, right? No? Am I tripping on that? Scar, let me know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the three, Racha. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay, I was right. I, was, I thought you said no to like me saying who it was. Okay. And Mingi. Just like but the producers. Now, now that I know uh, Mingi and uh, Hongjun are the producers as well, that's pretty tough. That's dope. It teases choreographers, BB Trippin, are top tier and have played a big part in who they are today. That's dope. Because KQ Entertainment is an extremely small company, ATs has an amazingly close relationship to the staff and everyone in the company. To the point that they call the CEO, Abuji, the Korean word for father. Oh, that's awesome. Boos, 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 boos. <laughs> ah. They've even Goated. attended and sang at two weddings last year, one oh. for a staff member and the other for their main producer, Eden. That's actually so dope. What the hell? To have? I don't know how big they were during this. But I don't even know. This is uh, this is dope. I just got a comment that somebody said there's a 2024 uh, guide as well. But we're gonna do the 2023 first, and then we'll do 2024. So I might do two streams, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. In yeah, that's adorable. I love that. AT spent a month in Los Angeles preparing for their debut. Oh, Los At Angeles. At this time, as trainees, they were called KQ Fellas. The training in Los Angeles proved better than anyone could have ever imagined. Because when ATs came back, they arrived as performance monsters. In May of 2018, KQ fellas unleashed three viral- Wait, that actually makes sense. I was literally thinking that. I was like, ATs feels like they have Western influence dancing, if that makes any sense at all. It literally felt like, dude, that's actually so insane. Because I, I watch a lot of dance. Like, I, it's a lot of off stream and stuff, obviously, but my whole life, like, I grew up watching, like, all those dance movies that you see, like, step up and stuff, like, like oh my god, like Stomp the Yard, all that shit. Like I've, I've seen all, the the, the dance movies. Like even um, damn, what's that one? There's there's some with like uh like marching bands and shit too, um and other stuff. But like, yeah, this is probably why they have such an intense performance for sure. Like I mean like the Jabberwockies and stuff. Like oh my lord, like I I love watching like there's like dance competition or like uh I forget what it is, but there's certain dance competitions and stuff that uh. I've, I've watched before. I'm terrible with the titles and names of things. That's why I'm doing the guide because I'm terrible with names and stuff. Um, even like songs I've reacted to, I'll forget the name of the song, but I can like recite the song if that makes sense. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I, I always thought that, but I never really brought it up. Performance Monsters. In May of 2018, KQ fellas unleashed three viral performance videos to the world. Yeah, shoot! Carving out a name hey. for themselves as one of the best dance groups in the K pop industry. Hey, the da da dancing to panda is crazy. What it was intended to, then you should be leaving here as an 18, unless you were already one to begin with. 18 e, the name of ATs is fandom, is a combination of the words ATs and destiny. Oh, if yeah, you should right. know anything about ATs. It's that every facet of their history is a testament to the fact that ATs was meant to be. 
The fandom name was announced on November 17, 2018, creating one of the most important songs in ATEEZ's discography. Star 1117. Star 1117 is a. Oh, I might need to react to that next, low key. I like starting back from the beginning and stuff like that, so Star 1117 might. Might have to be on, on the list, y'all. Song made for fans and is one of the ending songs ATEEZ sings at their concert. It means a lot to ATEEZ and ATEEZ, and it Hi, has Luna, the thank you for showing. to make us emotional. Aww. Aww. My man's feeling it. Recently, at the last stop in their second world tour in 2022, ATEEZ, in conjunction with Hello82 and KQ, laid a surprise gift for ATEEZ that ended in nostalgic and grateful tears. It was a video of their journey from the beginning, the heartfelt thoughts of ATEEZ all over the country that had gone to see them in concert, and a serenade from us to them. Ooh. That's so dope. also involved Aitinis in the process of creating their light stay, which was aptly named Lightini. Lightini. <laughs> how the name Aitis came about. It was voted on by KQ and the Aitis members themselves. Okay. It stands for everything teenagers A to Z. They were to be a group that. Oh, that's actually tough. Everything teenagers A to Z. Oh, that's actually kind of. A to Z, like A T Z, ah, uh, and it's like the wordplay of yeah, and then A the destiny and A T N E. That's actually tough. I like that. Isolated and fully personified everything teenagers go through, both the good and the bad, and A T Z truly does that. You can read any of A T Z's lyrics and feel the true emotion that they evoke out of someone. They are meant to inspire, to sympathize with, and to give strength to those that listen. ATs introduces themselves with the chant "Aid makes one team. Family, friendship, and relationship are extremely important to them. It makes one team. I like that. <laughs> and even when one member is unable to be there at the time, ATs never allows them to be forgotten. Yeah. Oh, 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 Mingi. Big song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Which is frequently said in the beginning of their songs. It's not always there, but when it is, it's an indication that things are about to get crazy. Oh, I need to look out for that then. That things are about to get crazy. If you have watched even oh, yeah. just a few of ATEEZ's music videos, I have, I have indeed. You will notice a pattern of ending scenes. They are the yeah. puzzle pieces ATEEZ gives to us to string together their storyline. Oh. Even though, according to Hongjo, they have yet to reveal even half of it. Oh. Explaining the storyline should be left to rocket scientists at MIT. Ah. But what ATEEZ can tell you is that ATEEZ are pirates. The ATEEZ universe involves alter egos, referred to respectively as Halites, and time travel. Oh, which is why you see okay, so the alter egos are the Halites. 
So referred to respectively as Halatees. So this is the Halatees right here, and this is the people them from the music video. Because I remember seeing this in this music video. And time travel, which is why you see the sand clock oh. so often, even though in AT's lore it is called a chromer. There are two universes, Universe A and Universe C. This fact also ties into their name, A2Z. In their oh. convoluted timeline, ATs travel dimensions as well. Throughout ATs' music videos, you will find them in the desert, at a school, in a ship in the sky, and even trapped in a clear box. This is because ATs. Wait, that's so tough. Wait, this is actually crazy. They're also One Piece type lore. I love it. <laughs> in a ship in the sky. And even trapped in a clear box. This is because AT's story weaves in and out of their present and past. If you would Ooh. like to delve deeper into AT's lore, I suggest watching their Zero Fever Part 1 diary film, The World I look, you might have to. and the spin off from the Witness Prologue and Epilogue. AT's is known for many things, the most prominent being Masters of Performance. It is often said that the worst dancer in ATs could rightly be the main dancer in another group. Damn, that's crazy. has been highly praised by multiple choreographers, including Leah Kim, Sienna Lalo, Kion Madrid, Honey J Knows, and Sean Wu. They have collaborated with, worked with, praised, and covered ATs. Damn. ATs is revered by younger artists as role models both on and off stage, and are praised by experts, some Beninis, and peers as the K-pop group to watch out for. Okay. Bachan! Hey, shout out Bonchan. Stray Kids Bonchan. The performance is really cool. Said so Jungle. Jungle is the one people most think is the worst dancer because he is the vocal, but he is horrible. Oh, really? So he's fo he just focuses more on singing and getting better as a singer than dancing, so that's why people think he may not be the best dancer, which is still fair. I mean, like she said, though, uh, even though he may be the worst dancer on ATs. He could very well be like the main dancer on any gr other group, which is crazy. That's like saying, like, obviously, you know, I'm from America, so like saying, um, Derek White or like Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum barely played in the uh, Olympics as much. Um, he obviously is this, the best player on the Boston Celtics, which is a championship winning NBA team, and he didn't even play in the Olympics as much. But like, yeah. It's still very good, though, obviously, you know? Mm. That is interesting, because in terms of, like, music, a lot, I feel like a lot of the other artists will be like, oh, they're cool and everything, but there's no need to watch them. Like, I like their music, but, like, because performances, I feel like, are very, you know, unique and different. Like, you have to either have some very, very, very good music and catchy music that is, like, something that the crowd can vibe along with and sing along with. That's the biggest thing with performing is you want stuff that's palpable to, like, the normal person to be able to, like, sing or at least the chorus part of it. Because, um, obviously, the fast rapping part, most people are not going to be able to do, even if you like the song and stuff like that. Um... So in terms of like just like the dancing to be able to go out there and maybe like actually like dance your ass off to a song while you're perform like singing it and everything is crazy. And then people are also going to be like, wow, like this is actually super dope. Like I just want to, you know, watch this more and, uh, and what's it called? They're going to like enjoy it. Like even other idols that can't dance as good or like stuff like that might be like, damn, like they're really, really good. Like I'm actually interested in watching this even though they perform themselves. Just 
This is why ATs has been on the show Immortal Songs five times and won three times. ATs made history by being the only fourth generation K-pop group to do so, and also the fastest K-pop group ever to win it three times. You will never find an AT stage lacking, and ATs take a lot of pride in that fact. Sai himself said that all of my junior artists do their best, but ATs' specialty is that they work hard and do well. In my personal opinion, I think they're the next generation K-pop leaders. ATs' legendary skills, effort, and talent has gotten them far over these past three years. And I think uh, isn't ATs and Stray Kids both they both debuted the same year, right? 2018, I believe. The theatrics they used in their performance are super so spectacular they could be full-time actors. Really, two of them are showed in dramas too. That's actually really dope. I would say like if I believe they're the same same year is okay yeah they're both 2018 so I'd say they're both low-key like the probably the top two leaders of their generation I believe probably for sure and as a result a huge increase in fans has become overwhelmingly evident while AT sold out their entire world tour just four months after debuting the exponential increase in size and venue is quite shocking. ATs's 2019 concert in New York boasted of 800 people for their sold out 2020 tour, which was postponed to 2022. That number shot up to 19,500. Dang. ATs's hard work and talent brought KQ out of the millions of dollars in debt the company went into in order to debut them. It turned 430. They went into that much in debt that's crazy they knew they knew from day one they're like oh they're locked the in first day sales for their debut they album knew. into 1.1 million pre-orders for their july 2022 comeback damn that's ATs crazy have also gotten the opportunity to make several original soundtracks for dramas and anime shows oh yeah look at me now go get it go to what you're now all of the bar that thing it takes it on now attention oh shout out to shower in the Really? That's crazy. Their hard work and endurance has made them the best-selling non-big 4K pop artist. The passion and love for what they do has marked them, by experts, professionals, and fellow idols, as one of the top and very best performers in the entire K-pop industry. Not only have fans recognized their abilities, but it seems others have too. After the American leg of their 2022 tour, AT's stay had to be lengthened due to the high demand for interviews. AT's was even invited oh. to interview and followed. perform at the Grand. Shalom, Mlalix. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Interviews. AT's was even invited to interview and perform at the Grammy Museum. Really? Making yeah, them crazy. the fourth K pop group and the very first fourth generation. Oh, with the prime? Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so Making much. Them the fourth K-pop group and the very first fourth generation K-pop group to be invited. ATs have no qualms about telling ATs how they feel about us. In fact, <laughs> ATs has a phenomenal relationship with their fans. They are not afraid to be emotional with us, and that is what makes ATs and ATs. Does uh, ATs also have bubbles like uh, Stray Kids does? Also, Mlax, Mlax, are you um, are you here for just? K are you a K-pop fan in general, or are you just are you here for ATs, or are you a stay, or are you a stay teeny? They're on fans. Oh, uh, they go live a lot, really. Oh, you're a stay teeny. Nice. Okay, so there's different apps. So there's a fans app and then a bubble app. Okay. They are not afraid to be emotional with us, and that is what makes ATs and ATs so close. All in Facts. all, it's clear that ATs. While notably sharing one brain cell between the eight of them, oh, bubbles, JYP, are some only. of the most genuine, heartfelt, and hardworking individuals in the K-pop industry. 
not only do they not know when to slow down and relax, hence why we receive an entire stage yeah, performance going crazy whenever right here. they upload a dance practice. Even but their dance practice looks so crazy. part of who they are is rooted in staying humble and kind. So, it makes sense that on May 8, 2020, the Korean Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism named ATs as their 2020 promotional ambassador with the goal of promoting Korean culture and tourism abroad. In some That's places crazy. in Korea, ATs is known as the K-pop group that conquered the US. Wow. This is because ATs has a very strong global fan base. After ATs's 2020 to US tour, some 100,000 people joined ATs's official fan community. This is a strong testament to the power ATs holds and their ability to captivate the hearts of people all over the world. If you want to get to know the boys better, their fun and chaotic personalities are quite evident in their variety shows, KQ Fellas, Wanted Series. Was that a knock? One second. Get a little bit of a yeah. Oh, I forgot. Uh, basically, uh, have my carpet in the like the hallway is a little wet. So I had um, I had to call the maintenance people to just come look at it because the floor has been like, it's like carpet and the floor is like wet. I think it's like in between the uh, the dishwasher and the washing machine. So, uh. Fever Road Series, Wanted Special Series, Get that coffee, baby. and Stressor Thing, a variety show made by the Universe app. At this point, I'm sure you are itching to know more about each individual member, and I applaud you for being so patient. Let's get to know every member of ATs. Oh, we're going member by member. The captain. Okay, so member or no November seventh, nineteen ninety-eight. I guess it's his birthday. Leader, rapper, composer, unofficial sub vocalist. It's five foot eight. Okay. She's two years older than I am. There are days. Yeah. Man. His captain. Before we talk about all that is Hong Jun, you should know that he is never called a. Hold on. How loud is that to you guys, by the way? <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too loud. I can turn myself down, maybe. By the way. I 
loud enough. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Before we talk about all that is Hongjun, you should know that he is never called a leader, but a captain. Oh, captain. 18s and 80s alike both call him their captain. I and Yunho even said that the members have to pay him money if they mess up and call him a leader. Really? Hong That's hilarious, was the actually. first to join KQ in 2016. Though KQ Entertainment was not accepting trainees at the time, Hong Jun sent them a mixtape with a letter saying he wanted to be an artist who writes his own music. KQ Ooh. taking a chance on this teenager would mark the beginning of a long and rewarding journey for Hong Jun, 80s, and KQ Entertainment. Hong Jun is one of the only two members that make up the 98 line. If you watch Ooh. a lot of 80s content, you'll end up hearing from Mo yeah, I gotta move the couch. Jake! You gotta, you gotta move the couch a little bit. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Oh, it's getting back there? You gotta move the couch there. You just want me to... Are you peeping game? Uh, Peep game and lock in, Jake. Alright, All right, cool. Hong Jun is one of the only two members that make up the 98 line. If you watch line. a lot of 80s content, you'll end up... This might be the right time to bring this back. Remember during one of our stage streams we told you about the Korean Englishman channel? Well, two members of 80s, I think... Hyunjin and San did a food interview with them, so that might be cool to check out as a separate AT's reaction or just for AT's shenanigans. Oh, really? Interesting. Good comms. from multiple members that Hongjun stands as the father of the group. Watching him will undoubtedly prove that statement as true. Hongjun produces a lot of AT's songs and even wrote over 40 songs for AT's before debuting. This That's includes crazy. Sunrise, Horizon, Good Lil Boy, Celebrate, Rocky, All About You, and ATs's ethereal song Aurora, which is a favorite of ATs. He was, and is, extremely passionate about what he does, to the point of not sleeping, and that shows in the fruit of his hard work. An ongoing joke between ATs and ATs is that Hong Jung doesn't know where the dorm is because he sleeps at the studio. As outrage he doesn't know where the dorm is, it's crazy work. <laughs> that Hong Jun doesn't know where the dorm is because he sleeps at the studio. As outrageous as that sounds, Hong Jun does actually sleep in his studio a lot. Hong Jun loves learning more about his craft and even spent extra time in Los Angeles after their 2022 Whoa. tour to learn from a few producers here. Hong Jung is very serious when he writes ATs' songs. He, looks he sees serious. it He's as an in. opportunity to make a statement about life, love, and loss. He likes to write about the struggles we all face in life, but also all the ways that we overcome them. This is why you'll find many people crying to the songs he writes. Not only is Hong Jung a top-notch producer and songwriter, but he reforms clothes and many other items. Eighteenies love to see the most recent thing he takes and transforms. Hong Jung often uses his reforming to make a statement, which shows in the jacket he reformed while he was in America and wore to the Grammy Museum that said, Ooh. no one like me. Hong Jung loves encouraging people and he loves people in general. So a fashion icon he is a part of well. multiple social justice movements like the Polished Man campaign, which goal is to end child abuse. 
This is why you'll see him having one painted nail all the time. He is always thinking of ways to give back to the world and make a teenies happy. He even made us a non-copyrighted vlog soundtrack and organized his own photography exhibition just for 18 teenies and donated all the proceeds to ch A non-copyrighted vlog music, that's crazy, that's actually good, that's actually dope. I might need to look that up, get that uh, playing in the background on some of like my streams or some sh something like that. Cherry. It'd be kind of going crazy though. Some other hobbies Hong Jun has is taking pictures and making covers of his favorite songs. His most recent busking session included multiple covers of songs from artists he loves, like David Bowie and Michael Jackson. He has also made more official covers with his personal content by Hong Jun. You know you can go in my room. <laughs> Look at me now. Oh, let me go back a little bit. He was so nervous about his photo exhibit. He looked um he looked a little shy and nervous for sure. sleeping on the couch while I was streaming and I called the maintenance people to come look at the carpet because it was really wet and they had to wake him up so we, get, we had to move the couch <laughs> so I told him you can just go in my room He got his no one like me tattooed on his arm. Really? Oh, that's tough. Look at me now, made a gotcha in the Navy Jumbaj. She can do charge, you got your skull. So much. Hong Jung is a standout rapper and very versatile in his style. Oh, he's cooking. His trademark is the laugh, giggle, or chuckle he makes before he begins his verse. Oh, so I can I can listen for that. If I hear a chuckle, if I hear a little chuckle in there, he's kind of it's kind of like a Lil Wayne, a Lil Wayne uh, lighter flake. That's how you know somebody's about to this man's about to come in and cook. Okay. Good to go. All right, brother. Appreciate you. Do you know how long we'll be here? Two days. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, now that we got that situated, y'all, we can lock in now. I was wondering how long it would take for him to be here, and I was hoping uh, it wouldn't be too long. All right, let's lock back in. Hopefully that sound isn't too loud for you guys, but... Huh? You have to do what? You don't think you move it back a little bit? You can probably move it back slightly. It's a little crooked. I don't like it. So at least make it even. Even it out. <laughs> I'm 
little OCD. Ooh, Snow the Product just dropped a song. Good show. Same as last time. It's the second time this has happened. He's like, uh, hopefully they don't just dry the, f the carpet and everything and then like leave it at that. I hope they actually figure out what the fuck keeps making it wet. Is it? He said what? I said. Uh oh. Mm. We need to get that dishwasher looked at then. That's cooked. Well, the contest is tough. Many people find that if they hear Hong Jung laugh in a song, it is a guarantee that it's here? going to be amazing. Hong Jung is also a low-key singer. He sing a low-key singer is crazy. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> we gotta lock in. You know what time it is. Uh -huh. Oh, you're showing your titties for everybody on stream. <laughs> I don't know if they saw you. <laughs> this is my little brother. He's shirtless. I don't know if y'all saw him. My little brother and my parents came from Iowa. No, no, no. Oh, okay, he didn't see Good comms. All right. Um, all right, let's get back into it. Man, hopefully the rest of this goes smoothly and I don't have to pause as much and stuff. This first 25 minutes has been rough. Guaranteed that it's going to be amazing. Hey. When you watch an AT stage, one thing you will undoubtedly notice is the almost crazy presence Hong Jung brings to the stage. When he performs, it is an automatic party. His facial expressions are very animated and range from extremely fun to extremely scary, depending on the song. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Because of this, he earned himself a role as part of AT's Demon Line, which you'll find out more about later. But it is important Demon to Line sounds that crazy. is very capable in dancing as well. <laughs> Okay. Hong Jung speaks and understands English the most out of the group and oh. helps translate for the members during American interviews. Though Hong Jung is extremely hardworking, recently you can notice that he allows himself to have fun and let out tension. <laughs> And this makes a teenies very happy because we all think he works too hard. Lastly, if there is anything you should know about Hong Jun, it is that his love for a teenies spans the length of the Milky Way. Everything he does is for us and to us. He loves talking to us and believes that we hung the stars in the sky. He has the best smile. Recently, That's, I love his smile. During the American tour, Hong Jung said something to 18 that has now really become a foundational quote from 80s to 18 I would say, no matter where you are, and who you are, and what you become, you will always be there by your side. Like this. Okay. Okay. 18-ies. 18 Don't cry. Don't cry. If you cry, I will cry too, so... Don't cry. Yeah. <laughs> You will stay with us like this, right?
W roster. Those are good comms. The dragon. Park Sungwa. Sungwa. Oh, all right, hold on. April 3rd, 1998, unofficial sub rapper, vocalist and visual, five foot 10. Okay, okay, okay. He's almost as tall as me. Songwa was the fifth member to join ATs. He was close to giving up because he felt that he wasn't good enough. When the director of his dance school told him about a boy his age who was working very hard, this gave Songwa the energy to keep practicing. Songwa, Songwa ended up auditioning to KQ. Later on, Songwa found out that Hongjun was the boy his director told him about, and the one that indirectly gave him the strength to keep going. Eighteenies like to say that Hongjun and Songwa debuting in ATs together was destiny. For all it was indeed. Purposes, Songwa is the mother of the group. Now, He's the leader of the group. Following along, this would mean that he is married to Hongjun. Which tracks? Because while Hongjun and Songwa don't have a vast set of idol friends. They are each other's best idol friend. Songwa oh, awesome. helps Hongjun in controlling the craziness of the group. Though Hongjun teases and acts like he doesn't like Songwa, they actually mean a lot to each other. One of AT's songs, Thank You, was written by Hongjun to Songwa to express all the things he couldn't say to him. Oh. That's so precious. Songwa so and wholesome. Hongjun have one of the most popular ships, which is called Songjun. They are not as vocal about it, but if you look closely at their interactions, you'll see their amazing friendship. <laughs> Songwa is the second half of the 98 line and the oldest member in 80s. Though mm. Songwa is both the oldest member and the mother of the group, it would be hard to pick him out of a lineup next to the 99 liners. He Matt's seamlessly must fits check out in well with the 99 liners because of his ability to be very playful and bordering on chaotic on occasion. <laughs> One thing Wait, that reminds me of a meme. What meme does that remind me of, y'all? I feel like it just just um No, nah, that's horrifying. This is gonna be my sleep paralysis demon tonight. One thing you will hear constantly about Songwa is his ability to help members through tough times. He is a source of comfort for many of the members, and Wu Young himself said that he goes to Songwa for comfort. Songwa is one of the most caring people and he extends this to all 18s. In fact, Songwa calls us his stars. This has more meaning when you learn that Songwa's name means to be a star. On the first tour, I did say you guys were brighter than the stars, remember? Remember me? But now I see that you are the light of the star. Oh, he's spinning. Surprisingly, the song where you see today was nowhere to be found years ago. It took a long time to get him to the place he is today, self-esteem wise. Song was said that, pre-debut, he used to grow out his hair to hide his eyes and face because he didn't like the way he looked. 
He would practice really early in the morning or really late at night because he was afraid of someone hearing him sing. Now, he says, because of all of the love a teenies have shown him, he has learned how Aww. to love himself. Even more, according to the members and Songwa himself, he is the most likely to be caught taking a selfie. Yeah. He couldn't imagine it before, but because a teenies call him Hey, but that's that's what happens though. When when you any time that there's a lack of something and you immediately get that something, you're going to be more likely to use it. So like in terms of like if you have no money and now that you're rich, um, you're going to be more likely to spend money. Um, stuff like that. Uh, it's just, it's almost a lot of things. Like if you were always starving and then you get, and you get food, you're going to eat more than the average person, right? Um, just like maybe that one time. It just makes you feel like you want to have the confidence and like you're happy to like have it. You know, you may not indulge every time, right? Like he's not going to be, you know, every two seconds, but yeah. Like we love that he's able to, it's, it's all good in moderation, obviously. But, uh. It's, it's something that's kind of like he was kind of deprived from that because he didn't have the confidence to do it. And now that he does have that confidence, he's like, wow, this is actually like something I can do. And it makes me happy that I'm able to do this because of you guys. So it's kind of cool to see that um, with him. Because, I mean, he, I thought he was always attractive. He's a good looking dude. Taking a selfie. He couldn't imagine it before. But because a teenies call him handsome so often, he said he is able to see himself as handsome now. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Who is the visual of 80s? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. Ah. He is known for his amazing vocals and his outrageous performance abilities. Like Hong Joon, the person Songwa becomes is a 180 from who he is off stage. Okay. No, it's the dead eyes for me. It's the dead eyes for me. Bro, confidence, I'm telling you, bro. Confidence can make you go from like a 7 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. Swear to God. Like, I mean, he's not a 7 out of 10. He's obviously like, you know, I'd say probably like an 8 and a half out of 10. But that confidence, man. Whenever he's performing, he pulls out that confidence. That's a 10 out of 10 man right there. 10 out of 10 for sure. Member of ATS's demon line. This... Songwa is the second member of ATS's demon line. Okay. This title is rightly earned once you see for yourself his burning expressions, swift tongue movements, and graceful dance moves. Though Songwa debuted as a singer, he auditioned to KQ as a rapper. Recently, though, Songwa has gotten multiple chances to put his shockingly great rap skills out in the open. He has rapped on multiple songs, and ATS are absolutely obsessed with the persona of rapper Songwa. Here, a lot of is how physically perfect Songwa is. We're not kidding. At a glance, it is quite obvious that Songwa has the most perfect teeth. But no one bullshit. thing that can be seen from afar are his perfect hands, lips, and nose. The AT staff claim the same, and Songwa himself also boasts of his perfect hands. <laughs> one of Songwa's hobbies and passions is his love of ASMR. When each member of AT's created their own series based on things that interested them, Songwa took it upon himself to create ASMR videos that were as funny as they were satisfying. Both ATs and ATs. Compare Songwa to a dragon, namely Toothless, oh, Toothless, the dragon from the movie How to Train Your Dragon. That's a good dragon Songwa to be compared to. Songwa bears a striking resemblance to Toothless and has received countless plushies of the dragon. 
a skill not a lot of people know about Songwa, is his makeup expertise. According to Songwa, oh. he used to love putting makeup on when he was young. And he said, in a recent variety show, Stressor Things, when he was tasked to apply makeup on a ghost, that he was good at makeup. Songwa is also known to be very current on K-pop girl groups. He knows a lot of their choreographies and is praised for covering them very well. Oh, so he, he got it in his DNA. All in all, Songwa is someone you want by your side during both the good times and the bad times. Park Songwa. Wow. Who we got next? You know, the golden retriever. We got the any of the group. Six foot one? Main dancer, vocalist. Getting closer to my age. He's a year older. Bro's tall. Before we begin talking about AT's golden retriever, I mean, most of them are tall. I should begin by saying that you. Yeah, Hong Jun is 5'8", then 5'10", then 6'1". So, I would say compared to... I think the global average height for male, men is 5... Yeah, he might be the shortest if he's 5'8", and everybody else is tall, to be honest. Um, let's see. I wonder what the global average height for men are. Oh really? It's only five foot seven and a half inches. And the United States average is five foot nine. That's interesting. I always feel like I'm short. <laughs> That's funny. But it's maybe because I played sports my whole life, so I'm always around people that are just above average in athleticism and build and everything. Um So I'm five ten and a half, I'm almost five eleven. So, but 6 1 is crazy, yeah. No, is everyone's dog. I mean, boyfriend. I mean, husband. Dog, I mean, boyfriend. Honestly, I mean, husband. <laughs> he is all of those things. Shockingly enough, his birthday is actually on World Puppy Day. Really? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Am I not allowed to? That is often said on ATNE Twitter is that everyone has a bias, but everyone's boyfriend is Yunho. Yunho was the second member to join KQ. Ooh. He joined six months after Hong Jun through an audition as a dancer and trained to become a vocalist and the main dancer. Not only is Yunho ATNE's ideal husband, but Yunho is beloved by all the members. At the risk of sounding like a cheesy teen movie, everyone wants to be Yunho or be with Yunho. ATs's members often say that he is one of the nicest people ever. He Aww. has the perfect height. He is amazingly talented, and he never loses his smile. This gift of happiness is something Yunho uses for <laughs> the good of everyone. ATs says that when everyone is losing energy, Yunho is the one to cheer them up and energize them. His goal for 18s is to be a going crazy. for us, and I can't think of anything that describes him better. He's like all these papers. Just one look at Yunho's smile or a funny move he does to make you laugh 
will have you forgetting why you were sad to begin with. And He's exactly to mix it up. Mimo's encouraging spirit is a quote from him that said, my self-motivating phrase is that I wake up every day and tell myself I can do it. He said that there is nothing you can't do when you put your mind to it. You know is one of the funniest members of ATs and the weirdest. <laughs> Though you know is the first of the 99 liners and one of the oldest. What is great about him is that he doesn't mind hey, coming hey. off as odd if it means he is being true to who he is. Or if it is to make someone happy. He once asked 18s if they would still love him <laughs> if he pooped. The answer was an unsurprising <laughs> yes and you know responded with I know. I trust 18s. He has the superpowers to make any situation funny. He is not always a playful person. He is very hardworking and serious about his craft. Something you will find about Yunho as you venture further into the world of 18s is that he is extremely competitive. Which for him is okay because Yunho hardly loses. The members call him lucky and Yunho has confirmed that luck time and time again. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro is goaded. Astonishingly great dancer. Being tall presents its own challenges to dancing, but Yuno seems to overcome them all with ease. During their training in Los Angeles, Yunho was the only member chosen by a choreographer at Millennium to record the dance video they would upload to YouTube. Yunho was also the only member to record a solo dance performance video to add to the three KQ fellas performance videos. Ooh, that's crazy. Just watch. One hit one. Yeah, that's a fact. Hit his ass to the police. Wonder where I'm at. Make so much money off his goddamn song. Yeah. Still get in your ass like a goddamn phone. Yunho's dance skills. Listen to these bars, man. Still get into your ass like a goddamn thong. My boy. I know that's not, um,. Obviously, that's not an AT's lyric. <laughs> lyric. I forget who that is. God, I know, I know what rapper that is, but <coughs> I can't get, I can't think of the name. That's funny. Yunho's dance skills are something all the members aspire to, according to AT's. Hey, you know Lino. The dance, the dance main, you know Lino, we know. Dance skills are something you know, we all know, the Lino. members aspire to. According to ATs, you know helps them all with learning the choreography straight from the beginning. Because his body has already memorized the moves. You know is very exact with his movements and catches the technicalities of a choreography almost immediately. This gives him a strong advantage in pulling off a powerful performance on stage. That makes me wonder, like, how, like, if Lino was in this group, what would he rank out of all the dancers in terms of skill? I know it's not like a competition or anything, but I'm actually kind of curious to sit here and think about, like, because Lino is so fucking good. Like, he'd be cooking. Like, every time I watch him dance, I'm like, ah, damn. Like, he looks like a fucking perfectionist out there and stuff like that. So, I think he could probably, if, if, I'm sure he probably maybe has, but imagine he went to, like, Las Vegas and was like, and did the same training they, they did. I don't know. You never know. He might, he might be better than all of them. I don't know. I need to learn more about ATs and actually like how good they are compared to other groups. Oh, I can see them dance together. Oh, I can't wait. Got y'all. I've been doing survival episodes for uh, Stray Kids, so I haven't. So I'm trying to finish all that before I watch Kingdom. And I might do a little bit more on ATs and stuff too, just so I can like get a little bit of the lore from them too, because those are the two groups that I like the most um, out of the male groups. Um, but yeah, it's just super dope. Uh, I need to watch all of them. Oh shit! You know, we like know. The last we know. Two members Imagine there's another guy group, and then there's a guy named We Know, <laughs> and uh, and then. There's like in Kingdom, there's like all three moments like you know, we know, Lee know, all dancing together. That'd be hilarious. A 
Oh, he limits himself? I did not know that. That does kind of make sense. So I will say Stray Kids is more of like, I think, a versatile like singing and rapping group. ATs definitely has like good singing and rapping, but like their music videos and their performances look like they're bread and butter for the most part. But their their songs are like, in terms of catchiness, what I'd play in the car, I think I have just as many AT songs as I do Stray Kids songs that I like the most. Like there's like five of each that I really really like that I listen to all the time, and I've listened to a lot more Stray Kids than I have at ATs. Um, but I think the thing about uh, Stray Kids is like, um, they do. That's hilarious. They dance together and have joint team challenges. That's funny. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, they have different focuses is what I, yeah, I agree with you. That's what I mean. Like, I like them both. They're both, like, up here to me, and that's why they're my two favorite groups. And it's purely for, like, slightly different reasons. Like, let's say, you know, one group has one thing that they're, like, here, and the other group has it here. But then another group, they may have it here, and the other group has it here. So then, like, if you have, like, if you give them, like, a 7, an 8, and a 9, and a 10 out of 10 for these groups, but then a 10, a 9, an 8, and a 7 for these groups, like, these scenarios, they, they, though they may be different, they overall are the same because they would add out to being the same average. So in terms of, like, certain things, I think they're great in their own way, and I think that's why I really like ATs so much and Stray Kids because I can get certain things that I like from ATs and I can also get other things that I like from Stray Kids so they're both like very unique in their own way yeah yeah I should react to maybe some of the joint performances that would go crazy I might have to maybe after this or um or I might stream tomorrow tomorrow I might stream before I go to work maybe uh, tomorrow's gonna be a really rough day, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I gotta go do something in the morning. Um, so I'll be back after that. But I'm not gonna, honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna feel after I, after I, uh, go do that thing. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. I have already mentioned, in what seems to be the theme of 18s, you know is also an excellent performer. A gorilla. that has been the topic on the minds of many you know it's so tall Twitter. is you know receiving more recognition for his <laughs> dance skills so if you are an 18 year plan on becoming one please show our you know a lot of love you know is also known for his golden vocals his voice can range from a lower tone to a smoother high tone and each sound is blissful <laughs> Ooh. If it doesn't already seem like Yunho is perfect, Yunho is also an actor. He recently played a main role in his first drama, Imitation, and he oh. did an amazing job. So he was one of the ones that. Wait, this is right here. Oh! Jongo san and Sangwa were also in this drama. I might have to watch the drama. Can I watch K dramas on stream, or will that get blocked? I'm kind of curious. I would actually kind of like to watch a K drama, um, just for that reason. That'd be kind of funny. Recently played a main role in his first drama, Imitation, and he did an amazing job. But, my friend, I used to Ooh. Talk that shit then, gang. Oh. Acting is 
something you know has always wanted to pursue and he plans to see where his acting career will take him also you know along with hong jun sir no i actually pressed the wrong button if you don't want them no where was i at fuck all right you know Something you know. This part right here looks so awkward. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it's something I can stream on Twitch, but then post on Nokia. Okay, okay. But they look so awkward. Right here. Has always wanted to pursue, and he plans to see where his acting career will take him. Also, <laughs> like they just won't look each other in the eye. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh. You know, along with Hong Jun, served as a DJ for season 3 of Idol Radio. According to the group, you know is the one most likely to be caught playing video games. Oh. He wears this badge proudly and He's has a gamer. no problem admitting to it. I wonder what games he, he likes plays. to play in his room and does so a lot when he has free time. You know is an avid fan of Harry Potter and Spider-Man. Oh. Bro, Spider-Man's my favorite superior too. Spider-Man and Deadpool. Spider-Man and Deadpool are my favorite superheroes, and Harry Potter is my favorite movie series of all time. Is an and I'm a gamer. Harry hey, me and Yuno are twins for real. You know Hyungjin or Hungjun? No, I always think no. It is uh, Hungjun. How do you spell? It? How do you say Hungjun? 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 Even on Patreon, I don't think you can show. Ah, I see. And Spider-Man. Rather than an idol, his true dream is to be Spider-Man. This is me. Okay. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. His great power for the wow. Comes great responsibility. <laughs> Recently, on an interview ATs did with Wired, we found out that Yunho know, is the only member of ATs that has a license and can drive. Really? To sum everything up, you know is perfect and everyone should love him. <laughs> you know is perfect and everybody should love him. More have their license now? Okay, that's fair enough. Will you guys still love me and support me if I poop? That's the real question here. Oh, really? I see. Makes sense. Maybe I could do a, um... No, Scar! I see how it is. I see how it is, man. Um, maybe I could have something that, like, blurs what I'm reacting to. Like, blur over it. And then I can, like, have it at least so that people can kind of see where I'm at. And, like, leave the bottom, on like, not blurred. So that they can see the timestamp and stuff if I pause or something. How dare, Scar? How dare? I'm telling Atlas on you. You sing. You song. You song. June 15th, 1999. Vocalist, lead dancer, visual, 5'9. Okay, okay, okay. Let him cook. Let him cook. I don't see Teeny for even one second. I can't. I can't live for zero seconds. I should always be together with Teeny every day. Aw. Oh, you're not scared. Yosan was the sixth member to join ATs. <laughs> he started off as a trainee under Big Hit Entertainment when he was 17. 
but he later made the decision to leave. At that time, he received offers from six different companies and ended up choosing KQ. He became a visual vocalist and lead dancer in the group. Hong Jun said in an interview that the team leader at KQ put in a lot of effort to get Yosang to join them. The thing about Yo Sang is that he has a kind of inconspicuous type of humor. You might not notice him immediately because he is not one to make himself the center of attention. But he is naturally funny and his humor is very much underrated. Okay. <laughs> Yu Sang makes a lot of people laugh because he is very okay with and very good at exposing people. He is He's very good in ex That's funny actually. I love that they showed his birthmark in the beginning shots. I hate that KB seems to make him have to cover it. Yeah, that's always something crazy that I thought about with certain things like fucking Felix's freckles. Like bruh. Like their freckles. People love them and adore them. Because he is very okay with and very good at ex It's unheard of in K-pop for companies to care about the artist this much. I'm glad they have a good support. See, that's the thing that I've noticed. Like with Stray Kids and with um, ATs, it seems that the companies that actually care about their groups tend to have better groups. Like, do do the other groups not like notice? Like, hey. Stray Kids and ATs have such a popular fan base. They're they're growing so much. They're doing so well. Let's try to copy what they do. What do they do? Oh, they allow their members to do this or that. They're not as strict about this. You know what I mean? So it's like you would think. Oh, we're getting ads. We'll give it a second. But you would uh. I'll give it a second for you guys. Alright, are we good yet? Y'all good? Are we good on the ads? Okay, y'all good, y'all good. We're back. Alright, so what I was saying though is like, you would, you would expect that the groups or the companies that see ATs and stray kids and be like, oh, they're doing extremely well. They have such good fans, this and that. They're growing. They're, like, very popular, this and that. Like, you would think that them seeing that, they would want to copy that and that more K-pop groups would want to, or at least companies would want to emulate what they're doing. So with ATs being so, you know, the company being so good to them, you know, I'm glad that they're good to them, right? But, like, why is it, like, that other groups don't see that and or other companies see that and are like, oh, let me be like that with, with my group and see how it works out. But no, they want to be fucking dickheads, <laughs> and they want to they want to stifle them and, and 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 hold them down or like be like fucked up to them, and then they wonder why they may not be as popular or something. I mean, there may be other groups that are super popular, but that's just purely from the talent. I feel like of the artists themselves, it may not even be from the group or the company. Rather, I keep saying group when I mean company, but y'all know what I'm saying. But uh, but yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. You sang. Oh really? Yeah, it was noted that ATs. Um, I mean, even like they see their CEO as like a father. You know what I mean? The the difference with straight kids is like they weren't they weren't treated as good, and I'm aware of that. Um, but they were given uh, specific unique standards or situation where they could like bring in their own groups of people and stuff like that so like obviously they were treated a little bit better than most groups and then AT is even better than stray kids right so like obviously there are levels and, and ATs was probably treated a little better but yeah JYP yeah yeah Oh, I see. Yeah, there's so much that happens in K-pop, man. It's crazy. 
Martin makes a lot of people laugh because he is very okay with and very good at exposing people. He is known on occasion to be very savage. What's in the matong? <laughs> Can you not move your tongue then? <laughs> Hold on, it was interested Chan with making the group because he's been training for so long. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it is really quite horrible to most idols, which is crazy to me because, like, they make you all your fucking money. Like, how are you gonna, bro, like, how are you gonna be so, are you gonna bite the hand that feeds you? It's crazy to me. I never, I, I never ever understood that, but to, over there it's different with, like, the hierarchy and, like, the, like, you know, just basically succumbing to, like, your elders and, and respect and everything. It's very different, very, very different, um, than here. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah. But this does not dismiss his sweet and effervescent personality. He is quite like an angel. That is, when he is not busy calling someone out. The members themselves, okay. though say that Yasang doesn't have the ability to hurt anyone, doesn't get angry, and is the purest one in the group. Yo Sang is able to fool most people. Sir, put your put that tongue back in. <laughs> oh wait. Um yeah, I might have to look into it to be honest, since I'm I'm kind of getting down this rabbit hole of K-pop anyway, and I, I kind of want to you know become more knowledgeable about this this subject matter. And is the purest one in the group. Yo Sang is able to fool most people into believing that he is not as undomesticated as the rest of the group. But when you really get to know him, you'll find that he is not as normal as he first appears to be. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Yu Sang once told a teenies that if he is nervous for something, he pretends that he is in a simulation and that nothing yeah. is real. While that is a really helpful tip, we can all admit that is not the usual answer someone would give. That is not but the But then answer. again, when asked, Yu Sang said that he thinks he is the only one who is normal among the 99 liners. While Yu Sang takes the role of the most domesticated of the undomesticated 99 liners, what kind of animal he is? is a topic of heavy debate. Yo Sang has always been given the title of a Maltese because of his softness and resemblance. But recently Yo Sang has declared that he is not a Maltese but a Doberman. This drastic switch in yeah. has found a lot of pushback. Most fans still call him a Maltese, which you'll find on their page for him at fan signs. But he insists on being called a Doberman. When he is rightly called that, he is very happy. Aww. So if you ever have the honor and privilege of meeting Yo Sang, please call him a Doberman. The reason for this switch up from Yo Sang can probably be attributed to the fact that over the past year, hey. he has grown tremendously both on the inside and out. Both his newly found confidence and biceps are something fans have picked up on. According to God damn it. We got bots in the chat. The company is trying to get this thing to not work out because too pretty to be muscular. Bro, look at Bonchon. I mean, not bon well, Bonchon too, but Benny and Bonchon. To eight T's, Yuzong, along with San, are most likely to be caught at the gym. So, I suppose to him, the Shy Maltese has transformed into a strong Doberman. Yo Sang is often introduced and referred to as a moving sculpture, and when you see him, the reason is clear. He is very distinctly pretty, and multiple of the members even said that when he first arrived at KQ, 
They were intimidated because he was so good looking. Ooh. Something that makeup hides from our sight is Yo Sang's beautiful birthmark on the side of his face. Fans love when he is barefaced because it is one of the very few opportunities we get to see his birthmark. When you oh. peruse AT's discography, you might not notice Yo Sang's voice. This is because he did not get a lot of parts in songs early in AT's career. Though while in the beginning he was more on the yeah. shy side, he has bloomed tremendously both in vocal skills and dance, and has stated multiple times over the years that he wants more opportunities in their songs to showcase his voice. Tummy, it tummy. really shows just how much Yo Sang has grown both on the outside and inside. Because now his presence on stage can be felt from across a stadium. Yo Sang has an extremely intense stare that he uses to his advantage when he performs. Many fans and non-fans alike say that Yo Sang has very deep eyes and it is this feature that makes him even more powerful. Now that we hear Yo Sang more often, we are able to fully appreciate his rich deep voice. Not unlike Mingi, Yo Sang's voice, both when he sings and talks, is very full and very deep. This quality enriches every lyric he sings and sends a shiver down your spine. Because I can't wait for Mingi. And as thickly as honey. Oh, this part was so good. I love this is like one of my favorite. His tremendous vocal ability should not take away from the fact that, like the rest of the members of ATs. Yo Sang's dancing skills are remarkable and stand out on stage. Just like his stare and his voice, his performance skills and presence on stage is resolute and absolutely noteworthy. Hey, hey, Sang has been an MC on SBS MTV's The Show since March 2nd, 2021. Yo Sang leads as the oldest oh, really? of the trio of MCs, and he has his own segment titled Uncommon Dance Lessons. Yo Sang's funny and bright personality shines in his role as MC. So if you would like to see more of Yo Sang, tune into the show every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Korean time, of course. Yo Sang's favorite food is chicken, and while that might not seem important, it is to him. Something else you should know about Yo Sang is that he created a character called He Hetman, and 18 he's love to see the different variations and emotions He Hetman has. To end, I want you to know that according to Yo Sang, he will forever be your chicken leg. He will forever be your chicken leg. I will forever be your chicken leg. I love that. <laughs> Yo Sang. Well, who do we have next? Hey, 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 hey. Son! This man is fine too. Holy, they're all so attractive. I'm not gonna lie. This man right here, he kind of looks like um, Sungwa. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so he's five foot nine. Performer, lead vocalist, unofficial performer. Okay. Choice on. I love you so much today, and I the love you even more tomorrow. The first thing you should know about Mountain, or San, as some people like to call him, is that he is not human. Uh. Just kidding. Maybe. Maybe. San <laughs> is the fourth member to join ATs. He came to Seoul on his own all the way from his hometown Namhae. 
Really? Though he was good at singing San came to KQ with no dance experience and had to work very hard to improve his skills enough to debut. Now, we can see, all of his hard work did not go to waste, as he has been given titles such as The Man Who Will Raise the Standards of K-Pop Performance by Journalists. At first glance, when watching him perform, the thought that pops into most people's mind is how can anyone perform the way he does. San is renowned for he would otherwise break the bones of any normal human being. Hey! But it seems that just like having a clear choreography for a song, San also creates his own face choreography. San has said that he thinks deeply about what the song is trying to say and then embodies that. He says that he tries to tell a story with his. You said you like that they don't try to whitewash ATs? What do you mean by whitewash? I think I have an idea somewhat of what you mean by that, but like maybe different than what I'm thinking. So, give me a quick, quick little, calm little explanation. To say, and then embodies that. He says that he tries to tell oh. a story with his dancing and facial expressions. Oh, okay. This is extremely evident when he performs A.T.'s song Inception. He has a look of loss, longing and tragedy on his face and really makes you experience the song with him. Oh. K Beauty Standards is pale. Really? That's interesting. It's quite literally the opposite <laughs> opposite for us. We like we like tan people. People that are tan, more melanated. Um, like even for me, I feel like I'm pretty pale. And I personally think I look better tan, to be honest, so I've been trying to get this way. Fully young. That's why I was glad I went to Disney and got like a lot of sun. So I was like, hopefully I'll get more tan. I hope Felix will post the same thing with the original color. That's funny. <laughs> Ooh. I love that. Oh, that's so tough. His eyes, too. Like, he really locked in. That's kind of tough. This picture right here is kind of tough. This picture right here is crazy. Come on now. You throw some, some perfect quality on this? Man, I wish I fucking had better quality. Enhance this photo right here? I could have this as a wallpaper. This shit goes hard. It seems that he never That's loses so his character in a song and has endless energy. Unsurprisingly, San is the third member of ATS's demon line. San's switch when a stage begins is so dramatic that it is very hard not to notice.
okay? Why is this video so long? Due to Man, and where is the audio of the breathing? So we're, are we all just imagining it? Due to this, one of his nicknames is actually Satan. It is also worth noting that Sans flexibility is in part. Did they just say one of his nicknames is Satan? That's crazy. Due to the fact that he is a third degree black belt in Taekwondo. Third degree black belt is crazy. natural ability to always show some type of expression or emotion on his face, whether he is in the back or in the center, has garnered a lot of attention from fans, experts, Sunbanians, and Hobains. It has come a lot of attention from. attention from fans, experts, Sunbanians, and Hobays. It has come to the attention of 18s that many artists in the K-pop industry look up to San because of his unusual and indelible performances. Many younger artists, peers, and Sunbanians have mentioned San as a source of inspiration when they perform. Watching Bro be San cooking. Fan Kim always holds amazing surprises, and this is something most Bro staring at your soul. <laughs> Slips. Yo, peep game and lock in. Peep game and lock in. This is for you guys. Hey, I do it for the people. I do it for the science. Sans fan I know I peeped that. Been named on the top 100 list of the most viewed male K-pop idol fan cams, coming in as number 24 for his studio Kung Fireworks fan cam and number 16 for his Wonderland and Hala Hala fan cams, surpassing 1 million views. San is very critical of himself and always looks for ways to be better and do better. This is why, in his free time, he uses YouTube to review both lift stages and his fan cams. He likes to look He's for broken multiple mics. ways that he can do better next time. Most people are often distracted by his performance abilities, but San's vocals are exceptionally impressive. His voice is used in songs for very high falsettos. Low tones. And my personal favorite, raspy and gritty parts. Things to discover as a new 18 <laughs> sans intense duality. He is as affable as he is remarkable. Anyone who knows San knows that he is extremely caring and has a childlike innocent quality to him. Massaging oh so gently. This is why he is often treated like the unofficial magnet. San is extremely passionate when it comes to sharing all the love he has to give. And he makes sure to extend this enormous amount of love to all his members and every single 18. San loves physical touch, and it is this love language that he often uses to display his love to members. He is also constantly giving out amazing advice to 18s to encourage us and raise our spirits so we don't give up. And he is, by far, one of the biggest hype men ever. Hype men go. Yeah. 
Hey Chevy, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. All these qualities are why on April 14, 2021, San was selected to be an ambassador of his hometown Namhe. Though San is very intimidating on stage, he is very much like an endless ball of sunshine and energy. He has so much of it that it often comes out very erratically. Hong Jun testified that San was the reason ATS's jumping ban was instituted in their trainee days. <laughs> I'd cover and pretend I didn't know him. NASCAR funny angry radio. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not really that into NASCAR. <laughs> Keep it a buck. My parents used to be really into NASCAR, but it's a very different type of reaction after after the one I'm doing to have have to do that. Sam yeah. also breaks out into song extremely often, but he still hits his notes as effortlessly as water flowing out of a faucet. Lastly, I want to let you know that San has dimples that could make anyone fall in love with just a smile. So, it's okay if you already did. Is it too late now to sing Hi, baby son. The princess is crazy. Oh, baseball is tough. August 9th, 1999. This is your second bias? I love Mingi. Main rapper, main dancer. Six foot tall. He's taller than me, he's crazy. Song underscore mid underscore he just followed. Well, look. <laughs> the timing is crazy. Mingi himself just just followed me on Twitch. Shout out Song Mingi. <laughs> Mingi is a cutie patootie. I think honestly, Mingi's vocal and how he looks and everything. I think I've said it in one of the songs that I think he would be like either my bias or record bias, just straight up from what I've heard and seen. That was awesome timing. They were waiting for that. This man is fine. The very first thing I think of when I think of Mingi is that he is the most adorable person on earth. Oh. Looking at him on stage, that must sound very strange. But allow me to explain. Allow me to explain. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? 
Yeah. 안경 귀엽죠. Yeah. 저도 귀엽죠. Yeah. At first glance, Mingi does not seem that disparate from the rest of the 99 liners, especially on stage. But Mingi is actually quite shy and reserved. Though he has his own bouts of random shouting and chaotic dancing, especially when yeah. he is around the people he loves, Mingi often takes a background role when in a group setting. <laughs> Please respond. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's so many. So let me think. Let's see if I even got any of them so far. So we got Sangwa, Hongjong, you know, San. <laughs> Mingi. Wait. Um. Wait, oh, wait, I'm tripping. This is your this is your song. This is you know. I think. But the only two I haven't gotten yet was Wu Young and Jung Ho. I think this is Jung Ho and this is Wu Young right here. Wait. <laughs> Hey yo! Wait, what? Wait, I'm so confused. Wait. Wait. Wait, what are these follows? Yo, Mingi. Sungwa. You know. Hong Jong. I got the fan accounts following. W. How many more we got? Uh, we got four out of the eight so far. They're waiting for real. <laughs> w. So I'm thinking, am I right though? I think I'm right. Sungwa. Um, you know, San, Mingi, Hong Jung, Wu Young. This is Jung Ho, and this is how do you say his name? I don't know how to say it. Yo sung. Oh, I'm cooking already, y'all. I'm cooking. Look at that. Holy. Bro, this used to take me so long. I think it's, I think it's just because I'm getting more into like actually looking at different I'm able to like I feel like see the differences a lot easier now that I've been reacting to a lot more K-pop um and stuff like that. Oh. Let's go. We're learning. Hopefully I can continue to remember this though, obviously. The hardest thing is memorizing their names. That's the hardest thing. You know in Jungo? So I think they do look similar, but he looks a little bit like shorter and like puffier. Like more round. He looks like taller and slimmer. Like he just looks like he'd be tall. He just doesn't look like he'd be as tall. So he gives me like different vibes than uh, you know. <laughs> Funny enough, he also looks like the least to be a K-pop or like famous K-pop person. Like if I saw all of them out, I wouldn't think he would be a part of the group. Funny enough, that might be blasphemy to say right now. You know, I'll learn more about him and stuff. But that's just my first first take about the whole group. Um, yeah, actually, them both of them do so somewhat. But um, yeah. yeah. This is not to say he isn't the brightest person in the world. His smile lights up any dark room, and when he is happy, <laughs> all is at peace in the world. Mingi takes friendship quite seriously, puts a you lot know. of effort into it, and can get offended when his feelings aren't reciprocated to the same degree. <laughs> oh, I think it was. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I was right, I was right, I was right. <laughs> Why are you so upset? Oh, 
그럼 여기서 윤호 씨 반응은? 그건 좀 오해가 있습니다. 민기가 좀 지나치게 질투를 하는 게 경향이 있어요. Wait, I think I might have been wrong about that one. Oh, yeah, I got hit with an ad. Lock in. Y'all got, y'all got, y'all done got slapped in the face by the old adinator. Do 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 do. Ads done now. Bet. You abandoned my moral loyalty. <laughs> Gosh, you are a betrayer. Hold on. You know, didn't choose Mingy for choose your best friend who would take your heart. Oh, you know, how dare. Did him filthily. This happens particularly with Yunho, Mingi's best friend of several years. Mingi and Yunho, or Yunji as fans call them, were best friends for four years before joining ATs. Oh, really? Mingi and Yunho actually auditioned for the company without the other knowing. Another That's hilarious. Working to bring ATs together. Bro, what is that destiny? Wait. Bro, you got um Oh shit, what you do? Was it someone that um that joined? No, it was I think it's your saying. It might have been Son. I can one of them joined when they heard about Hong Jung was like working hard. It might have been Sungwa. I think it was Sungwa. And then you got Mini and Yuna who are like OG besties I didn't even know. Yeah. That's Mingy so crazy. Is known by the group as the one who is afraid of almost everything. It is quite funny to watch and ATs takes a lot of pleasure in it. <laughs> he is also known to lie to the point of hyperbole. Seriously, he is often claiming things that logically don't make any sense. Like the multiple times he has claimed he has never been afraid in his entire life. And proceeds to jump out of his skin because something scared him. He has also claimed that he has never lost before, even though his track record shows he is terrible at games. <laughs> Many of the lies Mingi tells tend to catch up to him quite quickly. In the behind the scenes video of A.T.'s song Don't Stop, Mingi told the camera that he has never been cold in his life. Then proceeded to shiver because it was cold outside. <laughs> Mingi's nickname is Princess and he often bounces around when he is happy. Though in the past he was very frivolous, recently you can see a more mature atmosphere around him. Amusingly, though Mingi is extremely outdated and does not know how to work a lot of things, he is constantly exclaiming about how far the internet has come. He just lies with the straightest face, so that's hilarious. This, Mingi is actually much smarter and more serious than people give him credit for. He has written amazing raps in practically no time, which is what he did when he wrote his verse for ATs's title track answer. In a hotel room, a day before they had to record it, Mingi also participates in producing ATs's songs, and just like Hong Joon, Mingi stayed longer in Los Angeles after their 2022 world tour to work with and learn from American producers. Oh. He writes all of his verses and truly takes the time to express his feelings when he does. Mingi, along with Hong Joon, is on the list of the top copyrighted idols. Oh, let's go back. Keep gaming, lock Mingi, in. Along with Hong his Jun own LPL. Is on the all right, so obviously, this doesn't surprise me. Um, Banchan, Changmin, and Han, obviously, top three. Because um, I heard that they produce like a ridiculous amount. Um,
I mean, most of his straight kids. Uh, all right, hold on. So we have uh, Soyeon. I heard she was really, 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 really good and and stuff like that too. But then you got Hongjong and Mingi. Okay, them two. I knew that it would be up here as well, just from what I've seen. Um. Any. Can't see what this one down here says. Um, Felix Youngjin. Oh, Minnie's on here for G Idol. They spell G Idol differently right here, though. <laughs> um, Lino Sungman. All of Stray Kids is on here. I love that. Yeah, all of Skids is here. Yeah, but yeah, Hong Jung and Mingyi are right up there. But yeah, and then you have Soyeon, which is actually kind of tough. I've reacted to G Idol. I like G Idol as well. They're probably like my second favorite girl uh, group. Um, behind, I'm actually blanking on their name already. This is crazy. Um, I know who it is. I literally just did a reaction to them. I'm so bad at memorizing names sometimes. Um, um, um. Hold on. Baby Monster, there we go, holy shit. Baby Monster is my favorite girl group. And then G.I. Uh, or is it G.I.? I think it is G.I. It's my second favorite. Uh, maybe so. I do like G. Idol. Yeah, maybe like a tie with like G. Idol and uh, and I need to do more Bad Villain to be honest because I actually really like their one song that I've done, but I need to do more by them. Uh, Dreamcatcher is very good too. Damn, I don't know. Fuck, there's so many girl groups, but Soyeon is very good. I wish T's AT's got as much free and as these kids at the at the moment. Oh, uh, they have the most say. That makes sense, so it probably like makes it a lot less. Okay. The list of the top copyrighted idols. Like Hong Jing Mingi has a trademark before his rap. Oh really? Yo, Big Song is back in the town. What's up? He frequently says the phrase fix on before his verses to indicate to the listener not only that he is about to rap, but that they should focus and fix their attention on him. Okay, so fix on. So if I hear fix on, it's Mingi. I'm sure one of the very first things you noticed when you listened to an AT song was the guy with the deep voice. That guy Just like Felix is me. Yeah. As someone who saw him in person, I can confirm that his voice truly is deeper than the Grand Canyon. Oh, <laughs> Ming also sometimes integrates singing into his verses. So much so that many people say that all eight members of ATs are great vocalists. Oh, he's killing that shit. Oh, he's cooking. Alright, let me not get spoiled too much. Holy, he's cooking. This does not stop him from loudly practicing to be the main vocalist of ATs in his free time. <laughs> Mingy is quite the performer, and his on-stage presence is very intimidating and profound. He pulls you in as soon as he begins to perform, and it is very hard to take your eyes off of him. His dance skills are incredible, and it is clear even from afar his obvious talent. <laughs> Something I wanted to make sure I touched on. 
is the fact that Mingi went on hiatus from November 2020 to September 2021 due to psychological anxiety. Fans really? missed him immensely and everyone, especially ATs, felt his absence the whole time. Mingi's hiatus is why you won't see him in multiple of ATs's music videos and anything else they participated in. Some examples are the official music video for ATs's title track Fireworks and also the entire Kingdom Survival Show. The but whole Kingdom as is Survival to Show? Everyone's relief, Mingi is much better now. Well, that's and his good. break really solidified his importance in the lives of every A team. Very good. I'm glad that he's better now though. I'm the one who controls time is tough. How do they know everything? <laughs> How do they know everything? Because I'm Nardwar. Because you're, because you're Mingi. We have to know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, that uh, phase was intense. Damn, yeah. Welcome, Yuno. We're, we're almost at your part. Or, uh, well, we already passed your part, you know. Um, we're almost at, um, Jung Ho's part. But we're almost at... Well, I guess he hasn't followed yet. If there, if there is a... A Wu Young part. But we're at Wu Young's part right now. Wu Young is, uh, Benny's best friend. So I'm excited for this one. to see if they talk about it. I feel like there's no way this is actually them. It'd be hilarious. You know, it'd be really funny if this was actually like <laughs> them just like watching. That would be crazy. I would actually probably like fangirl a little bit, even though I'm still very new into K-pop and shit. To be honest, um, Wu Young is a record for you. Valid. That's valid. I don't even know. I think just purely on Hong Jong just being like as big of a captain and as big of a producer and everything that he is I would have to put him at least at my one of my records but from what I've seen so far I think my record is probably gonna be uh, Hoon Jung and then my records are probably San and Mingi just from what I've seen so far but we'll see ATs lurk a lot, really? Alright, so we have. So we have Wu Young, 1999. So they're all like a little bit older than I am. They're all born in 1999, which is interesting. Um, I was born in 2000. I can't seem to have a single bias in any of the groups you follow. Fair enough. Main dancer, vocalist, and visual. Five foot eight, so he's also the same height as uh, uh, Hong Jung. Little guys. I would say my bias, just purely from the songs that I reacted to and from this, is probably Hong Jung. And I'd say my two records are San and Mingi so far, but that could change. Have you ever met someone who deliberately goes out of their way to mess with you all the time? Also, I need to read what that said. Let's be happy in any circumstances or problems that may occur. If you're happy, then it's okay. Hey, that's fair. Have you ever met someone who deliberately goes out of their way to mess with you all the time? Yes. Yet, you can't help but love them. Yes. Then you must have met Wu Young. <laughs> Wu Young is uncategorically mean, but he somehow is the only one that can flawlessly get away with it. Oh. 
So hurt. 괜찮아. 너의 본심이 어떤 거야? 아니 오지는 뭐. 아. 들어. 왜? 얘가 자꾸 아! 너 마음에 안 드는데? 너 오늘 나한테 잘 보는 걸 생각해 봐. 잠깐만 언제? 아, 나한테 생각 잘 못해서. 나 아무렇지 않은데? 뭐 인조. Though Wu Young never does it with the intention of being genuinely mean. And it usually Valid. is an indication of how close he feels to you. Wu Young is an expert at ego and usually uses it to get away with something or to win a favor. This is especially true when ADAs shoot reality shows and Wu Young wants the director or staff to grant a special request. <laughs> Wu Young has an extremely distinct laugh that can be recognized from behind a closed door. It is very high pitched. Did we go back to sleep? Your hair is looking a little messy. Do I go take a shower? All right. It's time to lock in. I'm almost done. I have about 20 minutes left of this video, so it might take me another 45 minutes or whatever to stream. I might be done by the time you're done with the shower, but. Um, I'll let you know when I'm all done. And usually accompanied by clapping. It is, in all seriousness, a trademark of Wu Young. Young has a smile that makes you want to work hard just to see it. And no matter how much he teases you, you can't help but still love him. That may be cackling. Wu Young is extremely loud and loves to be the center of attention. He is a textbook extrovert and flows in and out of conversations with strangers with practice teams. This is why Wu Young has the most idle friends among the members of ATs. Absolutely, we're going to talk about it. He is particularly close to TXT's Yin Jun and Stray Kids Chainbin. Yes! Something else that you might notice about Wu Young is that he flirts with everyone. In fact, Wu Young could probably make a robot <laughs> fall in love with him. He knows the power he holds and has no problem with using it to his advantage. But... Say what? Say we look, you might have used them all again. Uh, I mean, there's one that dad used. <laughs> if you want to use that bitch. <laughs> you might be cooked. I mean, you could just throw it in the wash, you could throw it in the dryer, you can shower it later. If you just want to grab all the towels. The power. Wu Young could probably make a robot fall in love with him. He knows the power he holds and has no problem with using it to his advantage. But, according to Wu Young, he was naturally born that way and does not intentionally flirt. All of Wu Young's qualities really make the constant comparisons of him and a fox very accurate. Though it has never been officially said, it is quite obvious that Wu Young's love language is physical touch. Out of all the members, Wu Young is the one to initiate skinship the most. He loves to kiss and hug the members and is constantly attached to someone. More often than not, that person is Sam. San and Wu <laughs> Young are extremely close, to the point that they have matching Sam. tattoos that say Amicus at ours. A Latin phrase that means, a lifelong partner, or, a friend to the very end. Their ship name is Wu San, and unlike other ships in 18s, Wu San actually coined it themselves and are very aware of its fandom. In a fan call with Wu Young, a fan asked what the fandom name for Wu San was. So Wu Young asked San who was, unshockingly, right beside him. They decided on P, which is the Korean word for rain because Wu San means umbrella in Korean. Wu Young is also very close to Yo Sang. The two have been friends for eight years now. They knew each other before they joined ATs, 
when they were trainees at Hive, formerly known as Big Hit Entertainment. Oh. Yo Sang left Hive and auditioned for KQ. Later, Wu Young left Hive and followed Ye Sang to KQ because they promised each other that they would debut together. Wu Young said that if he succeeded, he wanted to do it with Yo Sang. And if he failed, he wanted to fail with Yo Sang. This made Wu Young the last member to join ATs. Hong Jung said that if Wu Young wasn't there, the members would not be as close as they are. And Ming Yi says that Wu Young is the jewel of the group and completed <laughs> ATs. Wu Young's skills were evident as a trainee and have become even better in the last three years. Wu Young has put a tremendous amount of effort in elevating his dancing skills. Most people don't know, but Wu Young had an extremely tough time as a trainee, and his audition for KQ was his last try before giving up on his dreams. Now, he has found true confidence in his abilities and even has a studio Kum Artist of the Month to boast of. Like Sam, Wu Young also showed up on the list of 100 of the most viewed fan cams of male K-pop idols. Like Sam, Wu Young also showed up on the list of 100 of the most viewed fan cams of male K-pop idols. Ooh, okay. With his Artist of the Month coming in as number 41. Recently, Wu Young was even part of the opening performance for MAMA 2021 that featured members of six fourth generation idol groups. Wu Young was also featured in the very first episode of Watch's Fill in the Blank documentary, where he opened up about things he has never told us and also danced to a song by Logic, the title to which Ooh, is Logic. the number to the suicide hotline. Who can relate? I want you to be alive. He is a top tier performer, and this is being recognized more and more. Though Wu Young is very known for his dancing abilities, his vocals are enchanting as well. They often whisk you away in a soft cloud when you hear them. His voice is very light and wispy, and this delicacy is what makes it so satisfying to listen to him. Yeah, when I get spoiled too much, he's kind of killing it. Wu Young loves to cook and is the member most likely to be found cooking at the dorm. Mm. He likes to cook for the members and is always working on his cooking skills. Wu Young is also passionate about video editing and he makes vlogs that record the daily lives of 80s. Oh. <laughs> there are a lot of behind the scenes content so I suggest you check them out. A stern warning as you get to know ATs more. It's so delicate, but we rarely get to hear it in their songs though, which is pretty sad. Damn. Does he have like his own songs or duo songs that you can like listen to it a lot more or something? Be wary of looking too long at Wu Young, because he just might make you fall in love. All right, is this? Oh, we have the little demon line at the end after this one. Jungle the bear. Oh, he's the Makne. Makne Jung Ho. October 12th, 2000. So he's younger than me. He's the only one in this group that's younger than me. Five foot nine, he's a little guy. The main vocalist. So yeah, this motherfucker probably can sing. For all 
all intents and purposes, Zhang'o is the Hyung of 18s. Though he is the youngest and officially the Magni, you can never tell from the way he acts. Give her those chips. Uh, brand new topic. Uh, banana and banana, banana and strawberry and Oreo. Oreo. Uh, uh, look. Uh, uh, look. Oh, don't do it! Oh, don't do it! <laughs> if anything, San is the Magni, and Jango acts accordingly. You will often see Jango shushing San or telling him to stop, calm down, or be quiet. He's this just staring into him so. Considering their ages, but soul. Jango being San's young isn't the only surprising thing. Recently, San and Jango found out that they are very distant relatives because they are both from the Gengju line of Choi clan. Jango really? was the seventh. Ain't no fucking way. Because they are both from the Gengju line of Choi clan. Jango was the seventh member to join ATs. He was actually into sports when he was young, but then later felt a stronger pull to singing. He became a trainee at Top Entertainment for several years. Before making the move to KQ and becoming I know, the main Destiny vocalist is crazy. and Magne. They got that one piece lower. It's the will of the D, the Destiny. <laughs> Welcome back, Luna! One of the most noticeable things about Jung Ho, yeah. even at a quick glance, is his almost somber disposition. While he is the calmest of the group, it should not be mistaken as boring. Jung Ho is very funny and takes joy in exposing other members. In as boring. Jung Ho is very funny and takes joy in exposing other members. Not unlike Yo Sang, Jung Ho's humor is very underrated and often looked past. <laughs> Ah, son. Sand, I mean. Ha 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 ha. I would even enjoy the way to hello with it. And you're also eating me, Tanya. And you're also eating me, Tanya. An example of this is a fan call where Jong Ho gave his excuse for overspending. He said, I didn't want to spend much money while abroad, but I accidentally entered a store and accidentally bought something expensive. <laughs> Unlike Wu Young, Jango does not love skinship. But all of this makes it even more worthwhile when he shocks fans by making an obvious joke or initiating a hug. But, as his young status dictates, Jango is great at moderating the arguments of the group and soothing the worries of 18s. Quite unlike Mingi, Zhang Ho is the complete opposite when it comes to fear. His unchanging countenance in the face of things that make most people scream is, like San said, scarier than anything else. It makes sense that Zhang Ho takes on this somewhat protective role in the group because he is also the strongest one in 80s. The oh, video of Jungle breaking multiple apples with his bare hands while singing beautifully went viral. Jungle claims he can beat every member of ATs in arm wrestling with just one finger. As outlandish as that sounds, I believe him. Just like his <laughs> like personality, Jungle is obsessed with Americanos, and they are his idea of a dessert. Not only does Jungle not get scared and is extremely strong, but he is good at literally everything. Often on the first try, Everything. 
Whether it is fruit carving, making bamboo rings, or holding a single note without breathing for 1 minute and 28 seconds. Yes, you heard that right. This is only right as the Maknae on top, a title that was given to Jong Ho, due to his vast ability to be amazing at anything that he does. Jong Ho is also known as the best vocalist of the fourth gen. Oh, damn. But, though he is a fourth generation idol, his singing mastery rivals some beings and experts alike. <laughs> songs, they often hear an almost angelic sound. Some even mistake his voice for an instrument when they first hear an AT song. Because it is very hard to fathom a human being hitting such notes so perfectly. His vocals have stupefied experts, viewers, oh, some names, and even the most weathered 18s. They almost make no sense and don't seem physically possible. Sometimes, he even sings in a female register, which is much higher than a male's. I don't want to be spoiled on this one. Hold on, hold on. We'll wait, we'll wait. His performance of one again and hitting four consecutive. Bible. Amazing when you discover that. When Jung Ho performed this song at one of ATZ's American concerts, his microphone stopped working right before he was supposed. Why are you getting ready? Said what? Yeah, you're not. You have to bring every little thing because you're not coming back after you go. We're leaving at like probably like twelve tonight. We're gonna stay the night there, and then we'll, yep. and then we'll do what? Is it? what? Is it yeah, it's at nine thirty. Yeah. He he's the bon uh the Benny of the group. To sing, but he didn't let that stop him, and ended up singing without a microphone. His voice was so strong, loud, and clear that the melody reached even the highest seat in the venue. That's Fans crazy. were shocked, to say the least. Jong Ho's astonishing vocals have earned him an appearance on the revered show NBC's the Mask? King of Masked Singer, where oh. he passed multiple rounds. And even more notably, three solo soundtracks for highly. Vinny and Jong Ho arm wrestling battle win? <laughs> That'd be funny. Rated dramas. Jong-ho is constantly improving his vocal abilities and like some of the members. He stayed back in Los Angeles after the 2022 tour. He used this time to learn and train with vocal experts. Being good at everything includes performance. jong -ho's strong flawless vocals are paired with intense facial expressions that display the quality in which he sings. Most people don't notice or recognize this because of their laser-like focus on his voice. But Jango is also a standout dancer. Okay. I love that song. Called a teddy bear or gummy bear. Either way, he is a bear, and he is quite fine with that. If you are ever frustrated that you aren't good at something, just remind yourself that it is okay. Because man or bear? Question mark. How about both? 
Zheng Wu. I mean Zheng He, not Zheng Wu. Zheng He Wu. W man, you don't know the results without trying. You shoot 100% of the shots the you don't. You don't shoot. throughout this video. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. The demon line is very well known in 18 Evil, and it consists of Hongjun, Songwa, and San. The reason for this moniker is the fact that the second a performance starts, their entire countenance and persona changes, and it looks as though they are possessed. While this aids in creating some of the best performances you have ever seen. It is quite noticeable, and 18ies love to point it out. Mm -hmm. After all of this, thank you for coming, thank you for staying, and thank you for getting to know our boys. Cookie! Good 아, 이제 우리 편집자분께서 엔딩이 많잖아요. 그래서 뭐 어떤 것을 엔딩을 쓸지 잘 모르겠지만 편집자님 제거 스포츠 써주세요. 엔딩 후보 대결이야? 네, 엔딩 후보 대결. 브이로그 엔딩을 맡게. 안녕하십니까? 엔딩 후보 세 번째 민기입니다. 세 번째. 아네 번째. 제가 이번에 엔딩을 하기 위해서 탈색을 한 거거든요. 이러면 엔딩 안 시켜줄 수가 없죠. 그러니까 제가 인딩하게 해주세요. 사랑해요. 모두가 엔딩을 사랑해요. 모두가 엔딩을 노릴 때 나는 편집점을 노린다. 저는 욕심이 없습니다. 엔딩에 누군가 하겠죠. 네, 저는 에이티니를 사랑할 뿐입니다. 에이티 사랑해요. 네. W roster, W roster. W video, man. That was a W video. Man. That was a good one. That was a good guide. So, if you made it this far, YouTube, that is crazy. That's a very long video, very long reaction. Um, we got some... Some... <laughs> half of the AT's group to follow me on Twitch during that stream, or during this stream. So that's quite hilarious. Uh, did not plan on that. Uh, so that's really funny. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's me for this video, guys. For you guys on YouTube, if you guys are new, remember don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button if you enjoyed. Discord is linked below. My Twitch is linked below, so you guys can be here as well, so you can join the the stream and everything. Um, if you guys want to support me, you can through my Patreon. It's the lowest tier is only a dollar a month. So if you don't mind doing that, that's up to you guys, of course. Um, I do post behind the scenes content over there, especially all the stuff that gets blocked. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, 